In 2017, the UK appointed a Minister for Loneliness in recognition of the high number of people who are socially disconnected and the devastating effect this has on people's health and happiness. Yesterday, 5.23pm. Um, I don't know how to start this. I've never done anything like this. Hi, my name's Tom. I'm 15. The evenings are the hardest. You see people out every night, Instagram of couples and friends. And I was just sobbing. Not one single person looked up or saw me or spoke to me just to even ask if I was okay. Not one single person. Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Morton and I've been studying the secrets to health and wellness for over 30 years. We're about to explore how our brains are designed to be socially connected and just how far-reaching that connectivity can be. A fascinating discovery from neuroscience is that we have specialised cells in our brain called mirror neurons. These mirror neurons light up in synchrony with other people's actions and feelings. That's why when we see someone yawn in a room full of people, you will often see a number of other people yawn too. These are mirror neurons at work. They are important to create a sense of empathy and understanding between human beings. And it's why we can sometimes anticipate what someone will do or say. It's our mirror neurons tuning into their behaviour. Today, I'm going to talk to Jill Gordon about the importance of being socially connected and how much socialisation we really need to be happy and healthy. Hi, Darren. Hello there, Professor Gordon. Good to see you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. The social connection is probably among the most powerful determinants of well-being. Studies that were done of rats in cages with free access to heroin show that you can get them addicted quite easily and quickly. However, if you put rats in cages with lots of little rat friends and lots of ferris wheels and things you know to play with, lots of diversions and free access to heroin, they're not interested. So heroin is one of the things that comes out of a place of social deficit, if you like, or you know a variety of different reasons for addictive behaviour, which is complex. But the fact that we dem could demonstrate that if you have enough of life's good things and most powerfully social connectedness, some of life's bad things are much less attractive to you. You know, one of the most fascinating discoveries of modern neuroscience, the discovery of these things in our brains called mirror neurons. And they're called mirror neurons because they reflect each other. We have this capacity to feel with other people. And what's really fascinating is that other studies have actually indicated that how we feel is socially contagious up to three degrees of separation. Such that in a social network, how you feel, if you get, say, happier or sadder, that will spread to your friends, friends, friends. Three degrees of separation. And what's the takeaway message? Is that we're more connected in ways that we never previously imagined. Right? We are not islands. We're all in this together. If you were to almost create a lifestyle prescription who you felt mm. for someone who you felt was disconnected, what, what do you say to people? What? Past behaviour is the best predictor of future behaviour. So if you look back to a time when you were feeling um, well in yourself, what were some of your typical activities then, what was giving you pleasure at that time, who were you connecting with at that time, um, and then how can we, if possible, recreate at least some of that. Because some of the sense of lack of well-being will come from saying, my dearest friend moved overseas, or my wife died, or you know, some, there's a, a loss there. Um, to try to, you can't actually turn any of that around, but you can find what's, what are some ways in which I can retrieve at least some of the connectedness that I've enjoyed in the past. So it's not only important to socialise with people, but to surround ourselves with uplifting people who inspire us to live happier and healthier lives. Hey, or better yet, 
be an uplifting individual. Make sure you prioritise being socially connected.